Hey everyone, this is Pasty White Arshan Gaia coming to you with sort of an impromptu video while I'm watching the little one. Uh, I've I received uh, three different individuals today uh, asked me a question, and uh, it was the same type of question I've gotten since the beginning of the year. And when I first started getting this type of question, uh, I didn't really know what to say to it, which is why I never really answered it. But the thing is, people kind of kept asking it and kept asking it, and have for most of the year. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and just kind of throw out a video here and try to explain myself as best as I can. And I'm going to do it as well as I can without trying to sound like I'm saying that water is wet, because I don't really know what else to say. So I hope you'll forgive me. I stream. I stream semi-regularly, or at least I used to. Uh, hopefully I will stream again in the future. Anyways, uh, the point being, you know, I, I do have a Twitch thing, and what I do on Twitch, I do several things on Twitch. I speedrun, just for fun, although I haven't done that forever because I haven't had time. Uh, I like to do little events, blind runs, backseat runs, that kind of thing, but the majority of the thing, the, the main focus of the stream is what I call lore runs. Now, a lore run is basically the same thing as a rumination, it's just live. It's more in-depth, it goes into more detail, uh, it shows off, you know, I, and, uh, rather than me saying blah, 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 you know, emphasis of thematic significance of blah, while the game is actually showing it, I can say there, there's the thematic significance of blah, right there, and, and here's this, and here's my interpretation of this, and here's my analysis of this, and here's some behind-the-scenes information of how this ended up in the game, that kind of a thing, right? Low runs. Now, uh, a while ago, because, well, let me explain something else, because I'm, I have a feeling not all of you have gotten this message, so to speak. Uh, I don't get a dime from YouTube, Ever since they put in their more stringent requirements for adverts uh, about last year, but they've been getting worse over the course of this year, I basically can't get any ad money anymore from any of my videos. Yes, that's right, I, I do talking head videos like the one you're watching that now, but they still disallow me from putting ads on it because people still insist that there's third-party uh, information in them. Like, for example... Uh, if I do a Voyager video, the fact that I am talking about Star Trek means CBS. You know, you get where this is going from. And yes, I know there's ways around that. I don't care. I'm not big enough to really care about the YouTube ad money. Uh, that's not how I make my living. I make my living through Patreon. So what the patrons ask and request and make commentary on it is, is basically my audience. Make sense? You know, I'm not saying that people who are not my patrons are not important, that would be stupid. But the point is that the people I get the most feedback from are my patrons, because they talk to me semi-regularly on my stream, a lot of them are my uh, viewers on stream, and of course they've got the message system in Patreon, which is kind of crap, admittedly. But whatever, point being that uh, semi-recently I did a nice big analytical thing few, uh, by a few metrics of my own divination and found out that the single most watched thing that I do of all the five features I do is in fact those lore runs I mentioned before by by a wide margin again most watched things so that's one of the reasons why those tend to get a little bit of priority for example during the Final Fantasy Marathon I did have episodes you know stored up for several weeks worth of content but when I ran out I just kept doing the marathon because it was more important see it's not saying that my other four features are less or you know unimportant they're just less important does that make sense um, the same thing happened recently. I was doing a Dragon Age series when Inquisition came out, and you know that was a lore run, pseudo lore run, pseudo blind run. It was kind of a unique territory thing, and therefore some of my other features took lesser priority. Now, last Friday, no video went live at all because my fans and my sister basically insisted I take a day off, so I took one day off, and uh, then I went back to work. Um, so that's why there's nobody left. Don't worry, it's going to keep going live, and indeed everything else has been going live, but I digress. So the point here being that because of the popularity of those things, that's why they take a bit of precedence. Now, the other thing that I want to explain is why they go live to YouTube. Uh, this is kind of a twofold reason. The first is what I like to call the obvious reason, uh, because not everyone can meet my streams, right? Not everyone has the availability or has the connection, or maybe Twitch is just bad for them. I mean, Lord knows Twitch is kind of twitchy sometimes. So there's plenty of times when someone wants to watch one of my streams and just can't. Or, you know, either because of their connection, or because of Twitch's connection, or because they don't have the commit time commitment available. Because Lord knows I, I stream for tons and tons of time. I mean, I do like nine-hour streams, because it's a lore run. You, know, you can't do that in ten minutes, right? I'm not PewDiePie. So... 
that's why uh, that's the first and obvious reason why those get uploaded to YouTube inch by inch. Uh, I actually got a comment recently asking why I was playing Dragon Age Origins, and the answer was I'm not. I played it about a month ago. <laughs> it's just now being uploaded to YouTube because I'm uploading six gigabyte files to YouTube inch by inch. Because YouTube. Uh, that brings me to my second reason, though. Twitch, uh, semi-recently, a few months ago, decided to basically stop archiving videos. They still do, sort of. But for the most part, it, it's infeasible to actually archive the things that I do. So my options were don't archive at all, or record it locally and buy a new hard drive, it's sitting right over there, and upload those to YouTube. So these are why, this is why, you know, throughout the week, in addition to my normal features, you get, you know, Dragon Age Marathon, Dragon Age Witch Hunt, 110, and so forth and so on. And I am still in the process of uploading the Dragon Age videos because there's lots of them. I haven't even reached Inquisition yet. So hopefully this helps explain a few things. If you still have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, I'll be watching the comments as I always do. And uh, let me know.